I can give you an online demonstration on how easy Channel Manager is to use. First of all, go to the Members page, which is www.channelmanager.co.id. Then click on the Members portal. A login page will open, and if you ring Mr. Roosty, he will give you a login and walk through the system for you. However, this is our online demonstration. First of all, across the top of Channel Manager, you'll notice there are Home, Live Inventory, Bookings, Book and Pay, Reports, Configuration, Supplier and Help. If you click on Live Inventory, a drop-down box will appear and you go to Daybook. Daybook is where you put the bookings for the hotels. As you will notice, these are blue, green, yellow and dark grey. The green bookings are people that are already checked into the hotel and the blue bookings are people who are going to arrive to the hotel. To put a booking into Channel Manager, you simply click on the white square with a number into it and a drop-down box will appear. In the drop-down box, it will say Create a Room Booking. Click on Create a Room Booking and it will go to a Guest Invoice page. Now, there's four things that need to be put into this Guest Invoice page. The first one is the last name. As you'll see, it has a little red dot. The second thing that needs to go in is a telephone number. The third thing that needs to go in is the number of children or the number of adults. This particular booking has two children and two adults. Then in the comment file, if you wish to put something in there, late check-in or something to, the, to that, you can put it in the comment. Then all you need to do is go down the page and click Save. Re-clicking on the guest's name will bring the booking back up. Now if this guest has breakfast or dinner, it can be added. Therefore, we'll put in a price for breakfast. When that is saved, and you re-click on the guest booking, you will see money for breakfast and the extra guests, the two extra children, as added to the total. Now if somebody wishes to pay for this booking of $242, you can go back up the page to payment through your own FPOS machine if you are taking payment. Click credit card, type in the amount they might be just paying a deposit of $100 and click Receive. Then if you go down to the bottom, you'll discover that the $100 has been paid off their account. And on checkout, they only have to pay $142. If we go back to the day book in Live Inventory, you'll discover that that booking has gone in. Now, because the booking is now blue, it means that that booking has come off all external websites and updated them completely. Now, if we want to put in a special price because it's a quiet time of year, you can go to Live Inventory, click on Bulk Update, Change the date in the field. Select days of the week. Select all booking providers instantly. And select which room you think you want to give the discount. Going to the third column, you put in the discounted rate. Once you click the Save button, that price is now being changed on all the booking sites that have been selected. By changing the button above, you can change the price on your own website and also on the Daybook. 
Now if we go back to the day book, you will notice that the price is, that it's now got a red line across suite number seven. When those prices have changed and they've been updated, that will return to white in the fields where the price has been changed. That's how simple it is to change prices on Channel Manager. Now the next column, which is the booking, it's got the daily guest list. If you click on the daily guest list, you'll discover the people that are checked in and the people that are checked out. When the people are checked in, there's a tick. And when the people are checked out, there's a tick in the checkout box, which means that the booking has been paid for. Or alternatively, if it's a travel agent, it has been charged. We do suggest that you use this check-in and check-out page. Now we also have a guest cancellation request in there. If a guest wishes to cancel, then it will come up that the, it has been a cancellation request has been done. When the cancellation has been completed, there will be no records found. However, in reports, we do have a cancellation list, which booking cancel report, if you click on there, you'll see all bookings that have been cancelled for those particular dates. Also in reports, we have guest invoice. In the guest invoice, you can find the bookings you're looking for. So if you only know the last name, you can type in the last name. All bookings with that name will then be on the report. And you can find your booking. By clicking on the person's name, that booking will come up. This is the booking that we did previously, and as you can see how easy it was to find. Also in reports, we have our debtors list. This is where debtors from the day book, if it's an online travel agent, automatically go down to the guest invoice go down to debtors list. We also have a weekly total report for the hotel bookings, a monthly and weekly report, source of business report which is um, where the bookings are coming from. So therefore if you want to do some marketing to any particular company, who may be the one that gives you the most bookings, you'll be able to find that information on Channel Manager. The bank reconciliation report will keep your banking up to date for the day or the month, whichever you prefer. Invoice add-on report is where if you want to find out what anybody wants has had on their extra add-ons on the invoice, e.g. newspapers, telephone calls, breakfast, it will show on here. Forward booking report, same again, bookings that are forward coming in, therefore you can do your marketing by knowing if you're going to be busy or if you're going to be quiet at that time of year. Cancel booking report, we've already told you, guest contacts, monthly income report, and the DPS payment history. Next one along is configuration, where you can put invoice add-ons. Therefore, if you only have accommodation with breakfast, you would just have accommodation with breakfast. However, if there's anything particularly to your site, like maybe hiring a canoe or something, you can put it here in invoice add-ons. As you'll notice, this hotel has horse carriage rides, broadband internet, laundry, flowers, newspapers and Rolls Royces. Not every hotel has these things and therefore your channel manager will be set up only for the things that you have. Source of business, data management is where if you require to put in a new data, if you have a specific um, company that deals only with you, which is not a normal one that lots of people using channel manager do, 
you can actually put your own data in this field here and it will become a data only to you. Supplier information is your supplier profile. Images is where you put images of your particular hotel. Room configuration is where when we set up Channel Manager we set up your room configuration and supplier room images are, and videos are where you can upload your own videos if you want to do that. We also have a help which can go onto your HTML or a help video. This is just part of what Channel Manager can do. For a further look at Channel Manager, please ring one of our representatives in whichever country you are in. At the end of this demonstration, a list of representatives' email and contact numbers will be given. Now I will go through the Book and Pay button. The Book and Pay button is put onto your own website. By clicking on Book and Pay Now setting, a setting a page will open up in Channel Manager. You will be given your own text to place on your own website. If you just click on the Book and Pay Now, it will go to the back of this particular hotel's website with all availability and rooms. Also, large pictures will be able to be placed on your book and pay button. Therefore, your guest or your potential guest can check your hotel and make sure it is the style of accommodation they want and, when, and the style of place they would like to stay. By going down further, if they decided to maybe book the cottage in this particular hotel, they click on Book Now, put in the date they require to stay by clicking on it, putting in the number of children, number of adults, filling in their credit card information, and then there's also add-ons that they can do if they want as well. They can add breakfast on, by selecting and placing the number of breakfasts they require. This will add to the bottom and the price will be on displayed. The guest then picks the credit card style, the credit card name, credit card number, CVC number on the back of the credit card, expiry date and click book and pay now. Now, um, it will not accept a credit card that is not a real credit card, as you can see. It will only accept a real credit card. When the Book and Pay Now button is pressed, the credit card will then be charged for the full amount on the account. I'll now go through another payment system that Channel Manager has, which would be available to you. If you go to back to the day book, and we pick up Mr. Test Booking and click on Mr. Test and go down the page. You will see that there's a payment through DPS using credit card. This is a payment which will go through to the DPS Secure Payment Portal. So therefore, if you want to charge a guest credit card without having a merchant facility with a bank, it can be done through here. Or likewise, if you get the credit card from Booking.com and you wish to pre-charge it, you can put the credit card in this system. It will then be charged and at the end of the month when the guest stays, this money will be deposited into your account. Thank you for your attention. For any more inquiries, please contact one of our representatives in whichever region or country you are. A list will be given at the bottom of this presentation. Thank you.